Immigration is uh, a sensitive subject in the UK, just as it is in many other countries, in, including the United States. Um, in our case, we're a relatively small country with a pretty high population, you know, 70 million people in a country which is in landmass terms, you know, not, not much more than a third the size of France. So um, there are issues in Britain over, over migration. I think that um, in terms of Syria, we're very clear. There's two main strands to the British policy. One is that we have given a billion and a half dollars already in terms of financial support to the refugee camps in Jordan, in Lebanon, in Turkey, and in Iraqi Kurdistan, where so many of the people fleeing their own country in Syria have taken refuge. So we've given more than anybody else in Europe in terms of, of helping to ensure that the short-term humanitarian needs of the refugees are looked after. Second thing we're doing is that we have announced that we're taking another 20,000 uh, Syrian refugees in addition to 5,000 we'd already agreed to take and we're getting on with that now uh, very actively. I had a minister here visiting uh, Washington just last week uh, to look at ways in which we can work together on the screening because as you rightly suggest, it's all very well to say, let's have uh, lots more Syrian refugees so that these poor people have got a future, or at least a temporary safe haven for a number of years until we hope their country is fit for them to return to. Um, but we have to make sure that by being opening uh, and welcoming to the refugees that we're not uh, opening the door, if you like, to some of the terrorists who we clearly do not want to come into our own country. So we're striking a balance. In the British government's case, we are focusing on those who are already, if you like, registered in the refugee camps, and we're focusing on those who are in greatest humanitarian need, the women and the children, uh, rather than people who have just arrived off the boat uh, where they've taken their life into their own hands trying to f cross, for example, from Greece to Turkey or from Libya to Italy. Uh, we tend to go for the ones who have already been registered and documented by the international agencies and providing homes for them. So yes, we are definitely doing our part and trying to help in that area, as well as engaging very strongly with the other members of the international community in trying to find the political solution to the problems in Syria, which is going to be the biggest single thing that will stop the flow of these very large numbers.